What's up, everyone? Uh, if you're joining me, uh, cool. I've got this in my ear. Anyways, we're here. Uh, I'm just gonna test out some gameplay uh, footage. Dave's been on me to uh, do some gameplay. Uh, I found this game. It is free on the Xbox uh, Live, whatever, if you subscribe to that thing. Otherwise, it's like $35 on uh, Steam. Currently, it, you play as a um, mercenary, mercenary guild sort of thing. And I played a little bit uh, on my own account, like just for fun, offline. And I thought it might be a fun little one. It is like a fantasy based. You're. Um, get a group of mercenary people so um, let's see you start off you choose some information so uh, some stuff about your companions how you started or whatever this is your companions are apprentice friends looking for an adventure you gain influence you have less raw materials to start with uh, swordsman archer ranger and brute Men escorting merchants who lost their employer. Start with more money, less medicine. Warrior, swordsman, spearman, brute. So you get different, like, basically character classes. Um, let's see what else. Deserves fleeing an abusive captain. Uh, you start with suspicion. You have more materials. Young farmers looking for a better life. Start with more food, but you're not as happy. Bandits looking to escape the guard. Uh, all stolen items. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, I think maybe start with more money. That sounds good. Why not? All right. Uh, your companions are used to long walks. Reduces the speed at which the troops fatigue sex are cunning fighters gain more experience I always like that uh, constitution increased by 10% they live longer that's good uh, critical damage which is always good sale prices of items hmm I'm thinking fighters for the XP bonus resilience is not bad either we're going to go with the fighters. Hopefully leveling up faster will be good. If they had a flaw, it would be... Ooh, meek appearance. Each companion's carrying capacity is decreased by a pound. Carrying capacity gets to be a bastard in this game sometimes. Um, eternal dissatisfaction. Reduce the troops' happiness by one during each rest. That might be worth it just because I found you can get happiness up pretty well. Critical hit reduced by three. No, thank you. Danger during rest increases. Uh, wages paid to companions increases by one. Hmm. Let's go with the greediness. We spend more money. Uh, each region of the world has a set difficulty from the start. We'll have to expand and improve your troop before you can explore more dangerous. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, starting region. I don't remember. I think. Let's see. Progress in the game to unlock new starting regions. Okay, because I've played, you could start somewhere else. But I think we just start with the first one uh, here because that is kind of like the level of it. I am not super great at this game. Uh, we're just going to kind of start with novice, save mode, free, whatever. Just check it out, just to play through. Uh, if any watchers uh, jump in, feel free to say hi. Uh, we are live on YouTube, Kick, and uh, what you can call it, uh, Twitch. Dur -dur. All right, so we can, let's see, customization. We have spearman, swordsman, warrior, and a brute. Let's see, how much can we customize them? Starting weapon. Okay, so you can switch them up a little bit. I like the brute with uh, sword and board style. Let's see. Utility ability, let's see. So you can get taunt. 
forces them to engage. Wrath deals two, three damage if they're less than. First aid. Uh, I think I want my brute to be a taunter. Traits. You know, we're just going to leave things as random. Just random. We'll just do one. That's fine. I'm cool with whatever they give me there. Let me... Um, maybe start him with a big old weapon. He's got a taunt. Let's give him first aid. Not sure if that's smart, but we're going to do it anyways. Cool. This guy here starts to run. Ron can be good. We're going to give him first aid too. Uh, and our swordsman. We're going to get rid of your first aid, I think, give you taunt. We'll do the sword and board and whatever else we get from them. All right, let's check it out. Let's see where we're at. Um, I think now that... Uh, let's move me over. I might move uh, this depending on... Oh, wow, you're seeing everything there. Oh, no. Wait for it to respond. Please don't freeze on me. Don't freeze on me. Uh, at the beginning, a mercenary life is never easy. After a heated skirmish with bandits, the most opportunistic of your companions have fled, leaving behind a generous payment and a furious client. Keen to make a few crowns, but not at the expense of their own lives, they now need to find new a new job. Repairs and drinks won't pay for themselves after all. This is true. Alright, so here we are. So they have these little resources you can pick up as you kind of move around the world. And then there's enemies that will be here on the screen. So here they come. They're coming after me. They're going to attack. Okay, we'll fight you. No problem, guys. We're down for a fight. We are down to fight. Alright. <clears throat> it's a turn-based mode fighting. Uh, so you can kind of figure out who's fighting uh, as you go. We have no range. So basically, you can maneuver to start with. And then once you do, you start. And then you can also start, like, figure out, okay, if this guy goes here. And then we can have him do his attack, which is going to hit both of these. Did not engage either, which kind of sucks. Because if you can engage them, you can force them to stay and fight you. But it's alright. Um, we'll engage soon enough. Who do we want to engage? We don't... We don't want the archer to be able to do his thing. So we're going to engage the archer. Just smack him. Uh, yeah, this is explaining engaging, uh, which I just did. So, in his turn, now they get to go. Uh, so, the little rogue guy stabbed us. And now, there are bonuses uh, for attacking from different angles. Um, I know if you get like three or more people, it's even better. Uh, we're going to move over more just in case our other character can get in which he can't so I'm just gonna run up and hit the archer then this is the first fight it's like set up to be you know super easy mode but teach you a little bit all right then when it's your turn you can't actually select different characters so like if you want to Let's see, the first one is the archer, but we're not worried about the archer at the in the least. So what we really want to do is be able to try to focus down on this rogue here, this whatever they call them, thieves, I think, in this game. Um, so we're going to move up. Now, surrounding engage enemy unit will allow two allies to get a bonus. So now that he's surrounded... We'll get bonuses to kill him. Yeah. And our guys are stoked because we beat him up. Now we're going to 
chill with the archer attack. Swing, swing. I currently have the game music in the background, so if uh, if we don't want, we can always do other music. I just didn't want to drown out. Actually, that might be smart. Let's do this. Once this fight's over, we're going to switch off the game music, I think. And we'll switch to other music, if I can figure that out. Settings. Open menu. Options. Uh, audio. Let's turn off the music. Just in case. Actually, and then let's up the rest of the volume. Uh, so we want to pick up everything except for the bodies and we want to repair as much as we can We'll continue. We see this little arrow means that person leveled up from the fight. They did super good um, While we do that, I am going to uh, Just play some background music If it's too much or whatever, just let me know So here we come in there's a stables Oh Leveling up. Let's level up. Uh, so this person leveled up. We click this little arrow. It's going to bring us to their stats. If they have the double pluses, it means that they get a better bonus than if you single the plus one. So you get a plus two to willpower instead of a plus one. Um, I just tend to go with whatever they suggest on the doubles so far. I haven't figured out optimization unless there's something I really was like, no, that doesn't work for me. I have damaged all the units, but it costs two power points, whatever. Uh, or encouragement. I gain protection, which is reduced damage. Or destabilization, which reduces their guard to zero. I think. I think we want the extra damage. So that's basically all you can do for the level. It's super easy, uh, super simple. I'm turning this music down just a little because it's distracting me. And then we're gonna go talk to the people at the stables. What's up, guys? When uh, I think of how many people don't shoot their ponies, it makes me want to pull out the little hair I have left. That makes me wonder: Is our pony shooed? No, but we have saddlebags. And you know what saddlebags do? They make us carry more. So tell you what. Buy a horse from us, and I'll throw in the horseshoes for free. You know, I've only ever had one horse. I'm wondering, could I have a second horse? Although the war in Adaran has been a That might be something to save and to see. Take them with you if you can. I'm assuming Otherwise, you can. They would most likely end up dead on the battlefield through no fault of their own. Alright, so let's see. Um, we're gonna do a quick save. Oh, whoops. We're gonna start this new one. XP stream save. So, just in case, because check them out now 180 gold you know what we're gonna adopt a pony <laughs> our banyans have no opinion on this choice homeboy said he'd throw in the shoes for free so if i talk to this guy please accept these horseshoes oh yeah but for the eye's sake use them on your new steed yep 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 no problem we gained horseshoes so we will put this on our pony. This will, I believe, increase our carrying capacity here, which is gonna be cool later. And sometimes you can find stuff, like here there's this, but you have to steal it. Um, I'm not, I'm not running anyone, I think. But there's hemp, so we're gonna pick up the hemp. That was like out of the screen, I'm surprised. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, and then you can bring up a map. So we don't know much. We know that there's something. I forget how to move around the screen easily. Uh, there's something over here. Gosh dang it. 
I don't know. We're going to follow the road. But we know there's something off in that other direction. Because there's a little question mark on the map. But here we've got a town. This is where a lot of our stuff happens. We get jobs. We can buy things. We can get food. Which, speaking of, how's our food? We got some bread. We got some stuff. We're okay to start with. All of your companions also can get uh, different <clears throat> jobs, essentially. So we're going to work on that, too. First, we want to get some jobs to do. Our role as emissaries is to ensure so this is the job board. They give us things like here's easy things. going to make us gold. Just going to accept all the easy ones. Because oh, I'm still learning it. You can talk to the informant. You can get jobs using our you. influence yeah, you. which you we can't afford because we're new course. we have no influence have to meet the client. but it's all good um, and then they have other people which you can pick up if you want more individuals in your party which isn't bad I do like having rangers they are like the rogue essentially of the thing so I'm going to see if I can afford Adventure to hire this calls. guy Oh, no, don't have enough influence. So we gotta go do a job or two before we can get there. Um, and if you talk to all these people, some of them are looking for things. Um, this guy's looking for a skilled blacksmith. So <laughs> we can come across people in the game eventually that will have different skills and abilities. Until then, like if we do, we can bring them over here. So we got a blacksmith. We're gonna make our brute our blacksmith. Um, not that we can create anything yet, but once we have some stuff, we can come create our own armor and things. Um, upgrade things, make reinforcements. This mayor, Are mayoress. You mercenaries? Why? You ask? Because they have overrun our streets and are now taking to the roads. Erdogan is sending our way anything with legs and a mouth that cannot wield a sword. You have your work cut out for you. There is no lack of honest folk. Okay, so we can do mercenary work. She's got no problem with that. Just she doesn't have anything special for us. There's a market we can buy things in apothecary. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Right now, let's figure out where our nearest mission is. Oh, down there. Uh, along the road, so let's go back the way we came. Let's click on knowledges. So you can learn things and learn, so you can pick up different traits based on all of the stuff. Weight training is good, running. You know, I'm going to pick up running uh, because didn't do it early on in the last time and allows you to kind of move faster through various aspects of this game. It's got a part survival like vibe to it where you have to oh ran too long. Uh, you have to save a certain amount of food and resources. Um, it's kind of just simulating you running this mercenary group and having to take care of them, having to feed them, having to pay them, repair their armor, all that stuff. The longer you can survive, the better off you get. We'll toss them out ourselves. We'll toss them all out. Toss them all yeah, out. I've been drinking. We all have. You drunk? How do you know? You seers or something? <sighs> Never mind. Leave right. us be. Well, if we had wine, we could distract them, but we're not here to distract them. We're here to beat them up. <laughs> we got to get our influence and our money. So that's what we're going to do. All right, we've got three of them and a bunch of us. There's four uh, four of us still. All right, what do we got? Not what I'm too stressing about. Uh, so here's the... Ooh, there's a, a thing here. They have these, like, this is a spear. But none of them are going to be in spear range throw to start with. So what we do maybe... Can I put all four? No, I can only get three over here. Well, let's swap one of these 
these guys over here. And let's start with this guy though. Maybe I can get him. I don't think I can get both, but we're gonna try. Uh, oh yeah, I can only hit the one, which will engage him, which is fine. That'll keep him from moving. But now he's gonna get rushed by his whole entourage of people. So what we need to do is try. Ugh, can't get there. I wanted. I wanted to throw a spear at somebody, but they're not gonna do it. They're gonna. They're gonna gang up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over here, and we'll fight this guy. Now we've got these. Uh, Valor points that you can spend, you regain them basically on the foot. D and D would be a long rest. Uh, so we're gonna spend one now to destabilize this person that was about to go. Oh. Alrighty, so now we gotta run in and we gotta hope we can save the day. Uh, who's next? This spear person down here. I think yeah. So our spirit person has reach, so we're going to deal some damage there. And then we're going to run up. And engage here to draw some heat off of our axe wielder. And we'll end. So we knew that was going to happen. We planned on that. No problem. Alright, our axe guy can hit multiple people at once, though. Uh, but he's got to aim at his engaged person. So, <clears throat> because of that, I can finagle three. But I can get two people with a little bit of damage. And now, what right about meow? I'll smack this guy. You know, let's see if I can taunt... Oh, I can only target the guy I'm smacking. That doesn't help. <laughs> oh, look at that. Skewered. Skewered. Now we're gonna go... Gang up over here. It shows you the average, I think, average-ish damage you can do. So cool. Now they want to flee. Uh, we're not gonna let them know. We're not nice. We're not that nice. We're gonna take them on. Because we get to act before they do. Alrighty. He's attacked. He gets some. Ouch. So we gotta be careful to not let, which is the downside of, like, not letting them run away, <laughs> is that if we lost somebody, they're dead, and all the experience that you build up, all the, the effort you've given them, uh, goes away as well. Luckily, no one died. And we're, we have medicine. I'm gonna take everything, we're gonna continue. So now we've got some stuff. We've got heavy armor, of which, who can wear that? No one yet. Uh, but I think maybe coming up, they will be able to. Yeah, this is where we start to get them, like, cause this guy could take Sentinel, which will give him heavy armor. Otherwise it's medium armor. Kinda like the, Rampage deals three times more two to four damage to the target. So single target damage. Beef up our willpower. Let's see. Repost. Next time this unit is attacked by the engaged opponent, they attack and return on attack for opportunity. That's cool, but for two, I like the heavy armor, but I think we're going to go with Berserker. Especially early on, it's tough to build up those points. And recoup them. So we really don't want to sadly delve too far in there. 
All right, every time this unit ends their turn next to an enemy and is not engaged, they gain one. Every time they kill one, they gain one. And every time the unit ends their turn next to an ally and is not engaged, let's go that one because we've got a little bit of range. That So this is how we start getting some of those points back, these Valor points. Uh, in battle, you can gain these like temporary buffs to them. Um, let's see, where are we at? We're here. I've got some missions up there. Let's check out this mine. We're right next to this mine. We'll say hi. Stop right there. This salt mine belongs to a ladyship gone trond. I can't just let you walk in. All right, all right. So we could persuade them to let us in. We could pay them. Or we could leave. Uh, let's just pay them. As I don't, you wish. You know. We can't mine the salt because of these two iron veins, anyway. So there's iron veins here. Let's see. Can we mine them? We've got a blacksmith. No one else has a profession. Who should be our miner? Uh, this guy looks like a good miner. We'll take this guy. He'll become a miner. And now they have, like, basically skill points. So, like, you got to time it. We're playing on the easier mode right now. So it's not that hard. And basically, the better you time them, the more experience and stuff you get. So, um, <clears throat> the more things you do, the better you get. Oh, see, I screwed that one up because I'm talking and not clicking. And you gotta click in the circle. See, does he have anything to say? You cleared out the iron deposits. Well done. Yeah, give me my money back. I helped you, buddy. Oh well. Oh well, we got some iron, uh, which we'll use with our blacksmith. And now we're gonna move on. Find these other things. So we can get missions from different locations. Like here's a tower we can go a jail okay we're gonna go up and talk to them the lady mayoness has offered a reward for any outlaw captured in the region you should give bounty I hunting a try i have any yet but you know what if i pick up one of these i can try uh teach you how to prepare ether alchemist alchemist is a good one to have tinker is going to be a good one to have that's kind of like the four i want miners i guess i could drop or take but uh you can always respec them later um brandy cloth well let's just leave for now we don't want to be wasting all of our money yet i don't want to die here okay what, oh, let's look at you. Ooh, you're an archer. I love archers. We're going to recruit this guy. Because, you know what? I'll take him. Archers are good. Having that range element just helps in this game. From the little I've played, it helps a lot. You can't climb these mountains. Now, there are ropes and there are pitons. Pitons. Um, that you can utilize. Oh, here's some wood. So we want that. There's fish. I don't know. I never successfully caught a fish when I tried it in my other game, and I gave up quick. I'm like, I'll just... I'm not here to fish. I'm not playing Red Dead Redemption, where all you did is fish to sell things. Uh, <laughs> I am trying to play a mercenary. I want to kill things. A fight things. Let me fight. Oh, here come some boars. We gotta fight them. Now we don't have any valor points, so that part makes fights a little bit harder. But hopefully we're earlier level in an earlier level location. So ooh, so here here you can see this uh, spear. This guy's in range, so we can hit him. Uh, what I do like to do is have all my people bundled so that I can focus fire. So we're going to start by going in here 
you get a free attack essentially with the spear and then you can move up and I think oh he's just out of range bummer all right that's all right that's all right they started with a farther boar Now the benefit is, is that now we know that boar is gone, we can move and attack, because we get two of our guys in between. So hopefully we can take out this other boar before it even gets to attack. So that is the aim. Currently, take out the boar. Yep. <clears throat> but now they got fury so they're not happy with us because we killed their homie and that's okay we are playing war tales uh if anyone is uh joining us check it out uh it is on uh I'm playing this using the xbox live like free uh free games that you can get if you subscribe to that uh Otherwise, it is like $35 on Steam, so it's not the worst. Uh, and they want to run away. now, because look, we get all of our attacks before they do. And I think we'll get more experience and we'll get more resources, like leather and boar meat and stuff, which we need to survive. Uh, I don't know if we can get in range, but we pretty much all get to go. Let's start with everyone else, then. Let's start the attacks. He's gonna move. He's gonna move up. And attack. Yeah, yeah. So now he's gonna move. Hard part is some of these and make sure you don't hit your enemies your allies so there we go we killed the boars these dang boars that attacked us uh group is over tired so now they're they need to rest they need a nappy nap uh so we're gonna steal all that stuff we're gonna repair everything always important to do we're gonna continue before we go take our rest though let's level up this guy i want him to be a destroyer i like my heavy armor guy we're gonna do uh, boof, boosting movement helps, so we're gonna do that. That's what they suggested, anyways. And then we're just gonna go and give him the only piece of heavy armor I have from a fight. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pick up this, and then we're gonna then we're gonna nap. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna let you sleep. I'm gonna let you sleep. Don't worry. All right. So this is where we'll recuperate some of these valor points. Um, and depending on what you have them do, they can do more. This guy, this guy was our miner. This guy's going to become a tinker, I think. Uh, yeah, so we can tell him this guy's our tinker. <clears throat> and what that does is he can build stuff using things that we found. Also, he can make a cooking pot already, so let's do that. We're going to craft a cooking pot. In our inventory now we can have a cooking pot out here which you can assign a cook to which will be good also just having this workshop this guy's gonna give us two of the raw materials is what we use to build um, that's what we use to repair stuff so let's craft a rope also this gives them experience and they like level up in their crafting uh, position as well. We're gonna get a piton case just in case. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and with that, we're gonna call that good for him. We're gonna make this guy our cook um, because we can. A cook is actually pretty essential. We don't have any ingredients, so we. Like, oh, right now we only know how to make bread. We don't have wheat. We don't have salt. That's fine. Uh, I just wanted uh, a cook. Oh, man. Really? I thought I thought you became a cook. You. 
Did I make someone else a cook on accident? Whoops. I did not purposefully make the woman a cook. I really wanted my archer to be the cook. But I didn't. So having her as a cook uh, reduces the amount of food we have to spend to feed these beasts. Uh, we're going to eat some stuff. We're going to eat some meat. We're going to eat some apples. Some bread. And one carcass. Alrighty. They like it. If you have wine, it makes them happier. We didn't have wine, but we had three guys by the campfire, which upped our happiness by three. And uh, we gained two valor points. And apparently, uh, our maximum goes up because they're happier. So there we go. We got ponies. They're chilling. They're really just there to carry things. You can make them war ponies. I tried that once. I lost my pony uh, pretty quickly because war ponies, uh, you don't, at first anyways, you don't get control over them. So they just kind of run off into combat and get themselves killed. Um, and it's kind of an expensive thing to just lose your ponies. So I'd just rather have them hanging out and building this value by holding on to things. Alrighty, we've got, let's do two on each side there. I think they have an, yeah, they have a third somewhere in this mess, which we can't see. But we are going to stack these three over here. And I'd like to start out by shooting this guy. Boof. Take it. As my buddy used to say, take your medicine, boy. Uh, where do I want to? Right, we're going to go hide behind this rock. Or an archer. I ain't going to be close. Alrighty. And we are engaged there. He's already attacked, so what we'd like to be able to do is move up and focus some of our damage on someone who hasn't gone yet. And hopefully we can eliminate one of their combatants. Oh, there's our other homeboy. There's our other homeboy. He's an archer. I would have minded engaging him. But what I really got to do is get rid of one of their people. Just going to maximize some of our damage potential. Oh man, I guess we'll do this. It's early in the game, just eliminating people, reducing the chance. Do we want to let them run? Uh, you know what? That's fine. You can run. We'll let you run this time. Mainly because I didn't take a lot of damage. We're gonna gain some loot. We're gonna Please have mercy. Complete good this mission. Have mercy on us. We didn't attack you to hurt you. Believe me. We only wanted to scare. Please don't hurt me. It was wrong and we knew it. But Gossenberg requires. Oh wow, they don't even like. The border. <laughs> they don't give me an option not to kill this we person because no we don't have money. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, person. I didn't. I didn't want to kill you. They made me kill you. There's a distinction. Um. Man, we gotta fight this person. We're going into this with zero valor points, but once again, early on, we outnumber. Hopefully, we're good. Alrighty, their first person is their archer, their poacher. Uh, so, hopefully. Man, I guess, I guess I could put all five on one side. Could I get to that archer though? Yeah, let's just leave it. We're gonna run up and we're gonna punch the archer. Because that really reduces their effectiveness in combat. Let's engage over here. These rangers can do poison damage. And they can also hit multiple, some of them can hit multiple people at once. So 
if you can keep them spread out, you can kind of mitigate their effectiveness. Now this guy's got this little skull face thing up here, and that means that he is like their commander or their boss or whatever. He is definitely going to hit harder and take more damage than everybody else. Uh, so that part kind of sucks. But we're going to try to focus in some damn much. All right. He got a temporary valor point because, remember, we selected this guy uh, to be, to gain it if he ends his turn not engaged and next to a, an ally. Um, we move forward. What's kind of cool about these is there's a percentile chance that you hit your own guy if they're in combat. We're going to take that 20% chance, and luckily, he does not. Now, if you can get at a good angle, it doesn't affect anything, but uh, if you can't, then it certainly does. Let's see, their guy just went. Who's next? Their commander's next. So we get one attack before we get there. Ooh, I probably should have moved someone, like hit with somebody that could have moved out, but I wasn't smart about that, so here we are. They take poison damage. That starts to hurt really quickly. Uh, so kind of trying to focus down this commander will be important. So now we got to angle it such that... Yeah, there we go. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Let's try to finish him off. Boom. Yeah. And then we're going to move here to start stacking on the damage on this archer and we're gonna actually hmm, archers next guess we go and yeah we're just gonna focus I really would like to get out of some of these fights <clears throat> so we're gonna keep though this surrounded effect here I think I might just bounce the archer out of combat, and that is not what I really wanted to do. Yeah, see? Bounced him out. That wasn't smart. I gotta remember that. Got to remember that. Um, hmm, this guy goes next. I get a couple actions first. We're gonna go in, smack him. We're gonna go weakening blow. Yeah, so now I took that person out of the initiative order, and we're just down. I should have let him run. I should have let him run. I got two people with poison. That's not the smartest move. Oh, well. We're not here to be smart. We're here to be mercenaries. Uh, luckily, there you go. Because it was surrounded and supported. So support... Surround an enemy, engage enemy unit with two allies to get a bonus. So yeah. Okay. There we go. Repair everything. As you see, these we started with twenty-five. We haven't bought any. We haven't made any. Whatever. Or we made two. They dwindle quickly. So we need them. Medicine also dwindling. I got one left. We're gonna take everything we got. So we are gonna need an apothecary. Let's see, do these guys have anything I for don't sale? You in my humble wares, my good sirs. Oh, you got humble wares, my good sirs. Um, the alchemical stuff, nothing we really need right now. We're going to just say no, thanks. We cool. Let's check out this merchant, though. Oh, they got food. They got feeds, my good sirs. Um, let us go ahead and see. They all sell for six. It doesn't really matter. We don't have any. Um, let's just buy all their fish. And then we'll leave. We don't need a ton of stuff yet. Let's check out whatever this is on the road. Oh, so there's five leathers just chilling. I'll take it. Okay, that gives us directions. What we want to do is we've completed two of our quests. The other one's right here, though. We could just, you know, 
Hike. Ooh, pony. Pony leveled up. I don't really know. Cause, so we don't want the pony to be in fighting. Uh, so really, we just want as many times as we can up the constitution. We just want a pony that carries things. Ooh, there's a border crossing. And our target is not in that direction. It's over here. <clears throat> Uh, oh, see, there's our target. Alright. Here we go. Let's check it out. Let's hopefully defeat this guy. Feel much better. Were we able to get some armor and stuff? Oh, there is a. What is this? Rusty hatchet. Basically, someone has to be engaged. I'm gonna move up. We're gonna see if we can shoot. Yeah, we can shoot this guy. Boom. And we're gonna run back. Mm. Man, part of me wants them to go first. I think what we do is. Who goes next? This guy. This guy goes. Our leader goes. Right. Yeah, the leader goes. We're just gonna kind of form a shield wall. Let's see. He's gonna run up. Yeah. He wasn't close enough to actually get to us. So the next is this homeboy back here, which I really won't be able to get to deal much with. But maybe before this guy goes we can focus down some fire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. Two hit points. Come on. So now this guy's gonna go. He's gonna watch this guy. So now he's engaged. He can't attack this other guy, which is Pretty unfortunate. But we're going to try to get rid of this guy. Uh, and he has less than half their health left. We'll use chains or ropes to capture them. Well, let's try that. We're going to just knock this guy out. Yeah, buddy. Oh, Sucks to suck. So now we got a little while. And the next one is going to be their commander. So we're going <clears> to... <throat> Now I think if I end here, I'm next to an ally, I'm not engaged. Yeah, I get one of those Valor points back. In which case, we're going to go say what's up to their guy. And then... He gets to go, he's going to smack. That wasn't too bad. Five damage to the armor. But see, you need to repair your armor like every single fight. So it really quickly adds up to be quite a pain in the bottom. And you need a lot of those uh, raw materials in order to do that. Alright, I was hoping to have done more damage to this guy. But alas, it was not meant to be. Alright, so there's a 100% chance we're going to hit this guy. Boom, I'm going to hit that guy. Wasn't there a, uh, just out of range? Okay. We're just going to move back, just in case. Uh, I'm going to start here. I think he hits harder. Not that much. Man. See, that's the thing. His armor. That guy's armor is just too good. Uh, we're going to stab him. Uh, we're going to move over here. What I actually should do is, I think move over here, which will surround him in the turn. Commander will smack. He'll put the beats. But now this guy's surrounded, so he's going to take damage faster. Kill him off. And then now we're going to surround El Comandero. Uh, 
which is not actually a real word. <clears throat> but that's never stopped me before. Now, here's the hard part. Yeah, there we go. We gotta angle it such that we only hit their guy. That is the one thing I dislike about uh, these multiple target specialists like this axe wielder we got. Is that it's hard sometimes when you're down to like one enemy to arrange yourself such that you can only hit that guy. But we should be good now. Yep. I'm not sure what triggers some of those like, kill animations. I wonder if it's like a, a critical hit on a kill or what. So we're all good. The one guy that's wounded is actually our prisoner. So we don't care that much about that. We do have some leveling. I like the leveling. Let's level up. All right. Uh, Pike man, when I mean for interest the uh, area forms one attack of and stops them in their tracks so okay uh, oh I see why it's two because you stop them and this thing has reach so you hit them at a distance upper movement uh, rally cars fury I do really like this harpooner though it flicks bleeding which does some damage so bleeding is the target loses 20% of their max health at the end of their turn I mean take away a fifth of your health in one go doesn't account for armor so like normally when you hit them your armor goes first let's see she's leveling up she's a fighter I'm gonna give her man attack several enemies you gain yeah, I just find that I'd rather have someone who just gets it when they do their thing so they're gonna get it when they engage uh, we're going to I mean, I like crit percent chance for sure. I just, I think what we're gonna do is up their strength. That's only a six strength. Oh, and they got a 19 constitution. Swole, swole up and here again. We're not here to have these things do any damage. We just want them to carry things. Okay, instant next to enemy is not engaged. We don't want that. Uh, we're going to go with kill, because we're going to do this at a range. We're really not going to aim at being close to allies all that often. And we've got this one prisoner, so we're going to head back towards this prison. We have three knowledge points to spend, too, which is definitely something. Um, oh. What I forgot to do though is have a heavy helmet. We're gonna put that on this guy. We've got a ringleader's coif, which doesn't work on him. But we have a lot of people that don't have armor at all yet. So for now, we're gonna toss it on our fighter. We really are gonna need to get armor for everybody. So that is kind of the next goal is to up our protection. It sucks when one of your guys dies. It really sucks. Takes them out. So we are running back to the prison. We're going to turn in this guy we captured. Now this little green meter um, is like our stamina for the run. So we kind of have to... If it gets to red, we go slow for longer. So I try to, I try to balance so here we are. We're gonna um, talk to you. The Lady Mayoness has offered a reward. We're gonna hand over this prisoner. Um, who's who is this? Oh yeah, this Gadanor. Thanks for contributing. And to we get paid for it. Order. So that's cool. Uh, now let's see who's in here. Free me! I promise I'll never steal again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, you're a brute, huh? You're a brute. Man, but they are cheaper. But I kind of want to round it out. I don't want... Oh, it's 144. It's not that cheap. We're going to leave you in prison for now. Think about what you did. 
Free me. I promise I'll never steal. Let's see. You're again a brute. Okay. Well, we don't want you. Not right now. We got a brute. We got a brute. He is our blacksmith, and we like him. He's nice. He is part of the OG party. Um, there's no real like issues with changing play characters. They're gonna die. I think in the one I was playing on my own. Oh, see, look, we're tired. We can't run no more. We're just gonna walk for a little bit longer. Now we're gonna go ahead and camp. Camp it out. Alright, so we got someone up here. We got three people here to make us happy. We've got anything that our tinker can do. Fish hooks, locksmith, camp chest. That's if you're stealing things, it will sell it for you. I don't have a thief. We are not stealing right now. We're good law abiding people. For the moment. And maybe forever. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna rest. Rest it up. We're gonna up our happiness by three. Uh, we'll make two raw materials. We need a lot more though. We do. We need more. We can buy them. We can buy them. We get to town. Leave camp. That was the stables. Bum, 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 bum. So we've got here 620 in outstanding bounties. So we just can go to the tavern, talk to our glowing green Might emissary here. Our role as emissary and we're going to say, give us the money. Show me the money. Uh, free Mount Altus Tower? Yeah, sure. We'll do that. It says it's an easy mission. Unexplored tomb. It's average, which is more dangerous, but we will take it because we're going to be running around. And I'd like to discover new I places. Yeah, here's a ranger. I want a ranger. And then I think I'm good for a little bit. So, turn next to an enemy and is not engaged in combat. That is living the dream. That is what we're going to do. Uh, movement is always good with these guys. So we just can't say no. Can't say no to movement. Now what we will perhaps need is uh, this person has this on. Which damage increased by 25 against poisoned units. We well, you know who can do poisoning. It is our ranger. So, oh, but what? No. Cannot equip light armor because they haven't leveled up enough, I guess. All right, fine. Put the armor back on you. It's okay. I don't want to wear that, anyways. Uh, we do want to stop by here. Is there anything we can build? So now we can make throwing weapons, uh, we can make rags. Which is armor, it gives a plus 10. Uh, it is a basic armor, so it could be put on by our rogue. Let's forge us a pair. Alright, so when the plate sparks and the forge item is superior, hit all the plates at the right time to forge an item of exceptional quality. So it's gonna. Oh, I hit it too soon. Too late. See? Alright, well, I do have armor 11 with uh, one level of extra benefits. Let's make us a shield. Cool! Oh, and now our guy got better at being a blacksmith. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. So, we can do a throwing knife. Okay, offhand. We can do throwing sickle. 20 to 50% damage to the target and has a 30% chance to apply a random debuff. That's cool. I didn't... What did this guy do? 25 to 50% dexterity damage to the target. Ignores guard. Ignores guard's kind of cool. 
That's straight damage. Hatchet is... Well, we definitely don't want that. So we're either going a knife or a sickle. Gives him guard plus five. We will make four each time. I can make two. Let's just go ahead and forge two. And those we just apparently make. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's make one more pair of... No, it's not. Not yet. Let's see where we're at. Let's see where we're at. We're going to give you that. We're going to give you those, and your offhand gives you an extra attack, essentially. I'm going to go to our heavy armor guy. I'm kind of gearing him up to be my tank. The uh, Probably our kind of commander. Eventually, we can choose someone to be the commander of our troop. Let's see. You don't have anything. You're better. Okay. Okay, now we got all these knowledge points, so what we can do is pick up different things that make us better. So you pay our companions less. I'm going to do eat less food for sure. That gets to be a pain in the butt. Eventually we'll want to do weight training. Eventually you probably want to increase the movement some more. Uh, I can move faster. Movement speed in the world increases by 5%. Yeah, let's do that now. Ooh, that took two. Jeez. There's the armor maintenance skills. Repair materials and village blacksmiths restore five additional armor points. Oh, but that... That takes it all. It takes it all. I don't want to take it all. Um, let's see what we can do. So we can increase our ability to make armor. We can make the basic sets... Uh, we can make a buckler. Um, we can make better weapons. We can also learn food stuff. Learning food stuff is good. Uh, these grilled ones are cool because you just have to kill that animal type. I don't have any of that stuff in our backpack other than... What is this? Pike. Oh, but that needs carp. <laughs> of course. Of course it needs carp. No. Oh, there's pike soup, though. But you'd have to be able to reliably get that. So I like the, the surface animal meats better. Let's learn the armor. I leave this with one. Man, restoration is cool. I think then we just hold on to what we got. We gotta hold on to what we got. Oh, the music is still playing. Cool, cool, cool. The music in the background is Epidemic Sound. I'm not sponsored by them. It's cool. They got good stuff. We're gonna talk to this guy, though. You We're gonna sell armor. off these rags. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking and to hire the, the barrel lid we've been carrying around as a shield. Man, who let us do that? Who let us be... Uh, I got... A dagger. I can put on. That means I can sell this rusty shiv and this damaged dagger. And be okay. Hmm. Apothecary. Let's make someone an apothecary. Ooh, wants to be an apothecary. I think this um, Drakic wants to be an apothecary. Of which we can't do anything, because we need Snow Iris. Of course we need Snow Iris. Um, the rest we need, what, fish oil to make something? Honey? And this Alizanzer. I mean, we could make bombs, but... My concoctions can heal we don't have many that can injuries. use them. We're just going to buy this person out of their medicines at the moment. We could get fish oil. Is possible. We'll grab five of those. We'll leave. We'll see what can we craft with five fish oil. Engineering oil. Let's see what is that. 
Energizing oil. I could read. I really I can. 30 percent increase to increase the strength for two rounds. You know what? It really isn't uh, that great. <laughs> but we'll do it just to we'll get a knowledge point for doing something. We'll just get we'll get better. We'll get somewhere. So this compendium, that's just the one we were, that's the knowledge thing. So the paths, there's different things that you can level up. Like, so here, uh, the explorer part, you can gain points. And when you level up, you can gain special abilities, knowledge abilities from your experiences in the world. You can go to the market now. So let's see, this person, Please, can you spare some food? we'll give him a little bit of bread. Thank you so much. I will pray for you. You better pray for us. Pray for us. Come, come. Take All right, merchants. Way. So they do have stuff, and I guess this would be something to, like plot out or to write out what town has what. Um, it would require me to have pen and paper or like a spreadsheet. So we'll just. Ooh, hi. Here's my one note. <laughs> What's up? Here's my one note. Um, we're going to add a page over here. This is going to be... Uh, more tails. Trade. Now, so what do they got? They got woolen cloth. For 50 gold pieces. We got pottery for 75. Now, I don't know how really these work. Uh, I know there was a mission I got in my game, Amber, for 50 gold pieces, where they wanted, like, pottery somewhere else. But I've actually never... I didn't finish, like, I didn't do that one. I didn't get anywhere with anything, so... I don't know. You touch it, you buy it. You touch it, you buy it. How about I touch all of your grain and all of your salt? That way I can make my own bread. Now we're gonna leave. Ooh, who's this guy? For a few crowns I can polish your armor. Please. Yeah, I'm so hungry. Let him polish our armor. <laughs> a little thank you for all the money. It will be well spent. Oh, I doubt it. You stole twenty gold off of us? Oh, you Those refugees. jerk. I understand there's a war in it. What a but jerk. That doesn't mean they can just help themselves. We got some food. We're gonna get some more food. Let's. We're just gonna buy all the mutton you got. Now we're gonna leave. Mad because we were nice. Teaches you don't be nice. Oh wait, I just told us there. Storm camp down here now. Uh, their production is woolen cloth, pottery, and amber. Doesn't tell us what they want though. I wish it said, oh, we produce this, but we want this. I wonder if it's just you take it anywhere that doesn't have that. Alright, we got a free mount in Altus Tower. That's easy. That's apparently the direction we're traveling. So we want to go back down the road that we... The only road we've ever known. I don't know why that song stuck in my head. But it is. Here we go again on our own. Uh, oh, this is, uh, that is our starting point. That does us zero good because it is a dead end. I'm gonna go round the mountain. Round the mountain. We're playing War Tales here. Uh, it is a game where you manage a mercenary group. It's, it's like part survival because you do have to manage having... Uh, food and goods and stuff part uh, just turn-based war thing uh, there's a woodcutter we could make a, one of our people a woodcutter How you find wood we didn't even put up a fight and they still killed Lucia her father chased after them toward the mill I hope he caught up with them this oh 
now. There's we if we had a lock pick, we could make someone a thief and go um, do that. That's okay. We're just gonna take your hemp because that is legal. Just steal your hemp. You just have that hemp out there to make rope. I am sure of it. Nothing untoward ever. Let's talk to these guys. I forget what that Are you is. We have nothing. We are only refugees. We have we nothing. We Please want stuff. Go. Give us bread. I we'll give you, you bread. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, it doesn't steal from us. That's a bonus. So here we go. We're gonna have to fight. We got bandits. They're level two bandits. Let's kill them. Let's have this battle. Mm, let's see. You're here. You're in the mud. You're there. I think I want... Alright, let's see. Let's see. Uh, we'll put you there. No one's bundled up yet. I like to open up with my archers. Oh, you're in the mud. Oh. Mud will slow them down. Slow everybody down, though. I guess there is that. Mainly here, I start with the archer because I want to know where to go. Say I can move, but I but I really can't. I really can't move at all. Uh, we want to start bundling them up. We want them bundled. I can't get to anyone. That sucks. All right, can you get to? Yeah. You can get here. Hmm. Right in the middle of everyone's probably not the best idea. Who is that? Oh, that guy goes. Oh, well, we're going to engage their archer to reduce uh, that. We don't need to deal extra damage to the archer yet. Ooh, you're going to go... Gang up on my poor swordsman. Well, in that case, oh, this will engage us. Man, hold on, hold on. Well, in that case, we're gonna engage him. Well, I may have chosen the wrong specialty. Uh, some of them, it, it all depends on your weapon, too. So if I pick up a different weapon for this guy, I might be able to do something else. Uh, but for now, it is what it is. We're going to run up. We're going to see if we can do some cool angling. Yeah, look at that. Hit multiple, bleed one, kill one. Ah, oh, what a beast. I love the spears, man. They do some work. They are not heavily armored or protected. That part sucks. But they aren't too shabby. He's also going to gain because he is not engaged. So luckily, see, the archers being engaged, they're only dealing a little bit of damage just from pure... Now there's a bear trap there, so we're going to just avoid that probably should have selected someone else because this guy can't even get to the target and that is suboptimal play but I don't think my other guy could have either so really it I'm down to my people that were stuck in the mud but the poison and the bleeding all these things they start stacking up and they start mattering uh, eventually um, we're gonna go here downside is my archers way out of position with no good targets Woo. got bludgeoned yeah there goes your armor there goes your armor yeah he's not gonna have any targets so we really don't care about him at all. Sadly, our archer's got some work to do, and I think the fight's going to be over. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take it. We'll take the win right there. Um, 
We're gonna loot everything you got. We're gonna repair everything we got. We do have a level. Level, level. Level up. Um, okay. So every time an attack hits multiple enemies, which is kind of what we're aiming to do with this guy, so that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do every time an attack hits multiple enemies. Harder to do, uh, honestly, than, uh, than one would think, but you know what? What are we doing if not going for it? Uh, this is light armor. He uh, can wear medium, but the best we got is this light armor, so. He's gonna go with some light armor. Alrighty, that was it. A mighty level of one. One leveling up. I'm gonna pick up some uh, iron. I'm gonna start running up this mountain. Because our target's up there. There's a uh, free Mount Altus Tower. So we gotta get up there. Free the mount. I, you know, first reading, I thought I said free mount. Um, it was not what it was saying. We don't get a free mount. We've got two. We're good. We got two ponies. I think. So everything you add is going to increase your carrying capacity. Going to increase some of the damage you can do. But it means you got to feed them. You got to pay them. Getting chased. We didn't want to fight them right now. Oh, but wait. This is actually these little skull things because the skull there supported. So we could. And probably, arguably, should fight these guys. Because it gets supported by the people around. So if you have a lot of enemies in the near vicinity, then you can find yourself outnumbered quickly. Okay, that's got a cool little spear, but I don't think... The only way to do that is wait for them to come to you. We are not waiting, we are attacking, and we are attacking over open ground. They're not bunched up though, so we don't want to really start with our... We don't want to start with our guys that require that. I think we're going to start our bowmen off to the side, but we are going to start right here. Who starts with them? This guy way back here. So what we're going to do is start right here. Hopefully this guy can't reach us. I think he can. But we're going to start off. What is your supporter there? I don't remember. Either way. I don't remember what I took for him. I sh probably took the wrong one if he's leveled up to that point. But Oh well. This is where we're at. Give him down to three. I think we're going to hold on to that point. You need the point for first aid. You need the point for some of the other things. We're going to wait just in case. Oh, she engaged. She got engaged. Not in a good way. Um, we're going to come up. Ooh, I like that line. But these two have not gone. We're going to come up here and we're going to. Yeah. Figured I could do it. We're going to slam that. And we're going to hit this guy. Because we're next to this guy. So we should gain a temporary point. So now we're a little bit better set up. To... Check it at you. Step up. That guy with some poison and some other damage. We weren't engaged, we gained the one. Yeah, that's right. He's got a target. Oh man, I hate those. Those heavy hammers. That target thing is just what a waste of your time. More often than not, you end up. Killing the target that you're trying to line up. Yeah. Or they move out of the range. It's really hard to set up. 
really very hard. Now I've got two abilities, I got nowhere to move, so that guy's just gotta chill. Alrighty, uh, last but not least. This guy's next, so we are gonna take him out of the fight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We don't need to spend that point. We don't need to spend that point. I do want this guy gone. My archer does not have a good chance to do that. Step up, we're gonna fight, step up, and we can get it on. Dead. No, you ain't that lucky. You gotta ask yourself, do you feel lucky, punk? The answer is you, you're not lucky. I got all this temporary stuff to use and nothing to use at all. Sucks to suck. You know, let's, uh, Let's make my archer get a kill shot. There we go. Dust it off. I wish I could keep those temporary ones for this next fight, because arguably probably what I'm going to need it for. But whatever. Uh, now we can come back. We still boost it. Maybe that wasn't... Maybe that wasn't necessary. That's all right. do we get? We picked up a chipped axe level 2. That does not help us. Who's our axe guy? I axe you. Who's our axe guy right here? Is this axe better? It is. Fairly. Oh, but it's only a one-hander. So you could go like axe and, and shield if that's the way we're going. But we're not. We're going for, I want to hit more than one guy at a time. So we do need to look for a bigger secondary axe. And we're going to run up. We're going to charge this and we're going to fight. Load up. Load up. All right. One more fight here. Here we go. Um, bum, bum, bum. Okay. So we got some positioning issues here. Kind of want to be able to bring as much as you can to bear as early as you can. You want to keep your archers safe. Who goes first? Their hoodlum goes first and goes next. So to be fair, we are going to run in. And we're going to smack you. No, we're going to let you go. We're going to hold on to that point just in case. You never know. First aid, we have not had to use it yet, but sometimes, sometimes first aid is very, very important. It is sometimes life or death. Um, okay, so who's next in this group? Who is this guy? This hoodlum over here. Hmm. I can't do much in him. Next one's going to be this archer. So what we're going to do is we're going to run up. <clears throat> and we're going to smack the archer in the face. Again, we're going to go ahead and save those points. See, almost would have been good to wait on him to be able to hit both of them at once. But, you know, didn't do it. don't want to engage you. I do. We're going to do this. We're going to... I know. I know. I just said we don't... We don't want to... <laughs> I just said it. 
Uh, but, yeah, we were able to push him out, but not then get back to an ally. Bummer. All right. Bummer. We're making mistakes on War Tales. Uh, that's okay, though. I don't think we're going to pay that big a price. Don't think that price is getting paid today. Yes, punch us, you ineffective archer. Yeah, buddy. Uh, yeah, we're going to come up here. He's bleeding. Now we're going to poison him. Now we're going to poison him. Bleeding, poisoning, having all sorts of fun, aren't you? We're going to... Yeah, we can advance. Don't want to risk shooting our own guy. They don't like it. Go figure. They do not like getting shot by their own archers. Get pushed back. Pushed back. Alrighty. Where are we at? This guy goes next. See, we're not really worried about the archers at all. We're, what we want to be worried about here is the rest of their guys. So, we're going to run around. Stand next to him. We're going to shoot your archer. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, I want whatever resources you got. Now, perhaps I can damage him enough and maybe capture him. I think I still got um, stuff to do that with. We'll see. We will see. Can I? No, see, I can't. Can I go with someone else now? Did I? Oh, God. I did not screw it up that badly. <laughs> badly. Just not that badly. Alright. Oh! I was going to try to capture him, but he just did. He died. Couldn't handle it. Could not handle it. See, we're down to seven. We need more. We need lots and lots more. To keep our armor happy. Keep it happy. Oh, I thought. Okay, hello. Flashing up. Oh, after two point. After. Jeez, man. Decide how I'm going to do it. Um, if they are engaged, that means someone else got to them first. Hit several enemies. Don't want to do that. We're going to go with if they engage. They engage. That's where we're going. What type of armor? Well, you got some light armor back here, which can go on. I mean, technically, light armor's for our range kind of people. But you can't put that on. Okay. Fine then. Fine. Uh, but it is better than what he's got or she's got. So we're going to give her that. We're going to give him that. Slowly, we're improving our armor. Man, so slow. So slow. Give me better stuff. That's alright. We'll get there. We'll get there. Alright, so we just killed people. See, this would have been nice. I don't have a lockpick, anyways. But. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know I could be a thief. But. I don't have one. We'll just take your hemp and go. Just take and go. And we are tired. So we're gonna make camp. Fighting when you're tired sucks. We can put someone on the altar and they can pray. They'll get some sort of benefit. I don't really know what it is. It's okay. I'm gonna cook a bunch of bread. So we got an alchemist, we got a miner, a tinker, a blacksmith. We got two tinkers here though, so this is the thing, like 
One of these guys is going to not be a tinker too much longer. Do we want him to lockpick? Can't really argue that, right? Let's make us a lockpick. And we'll end up making someone. Alrighty, what do we want? I think we wanted what? Improves our armor and maintenance skills. This will go a long way. That will go a long way. And so we're just gonna call it a night here. Just, uh, they're gonna chill. We're gonna eat some food. We're gonna rest. All right, they're even happier. We're up to 13 happiness. I think the max is 15. We gained two of our points. Because I was stupid. Oh, that's just happiness. I could have been happier, but I wasn't smart. Uh, and that's okay. It happens. Uh, still learning the game. Still learning the game. A tent would be good. Well, we need two rope and more leather. We can make the rope. Let's the two rope we need for that. So now we just need to uh, get some leather. Because the tent will restore these valor points. So we need two more leather. So we'll keep our eye out. On our way back to town though, because we completed this mission, we need more missions. And hopefully buy some raw material uh, which we can get you know, let's, we're here let's check out the haven maybe there's a quest we won't let you have the only refuge we have turn back hmm. mercenaries okay we could fight them right now but we're not going to we're not being paid to fight you what kind of mercenary fights without getting paid and they're just refugees probably don't have a lot for us at least that's the way we're going to play this out uh, we have not checked out this windmill down here which is giving us a little any of the buildings any interactable locations I suppose will tell you uh, on the map it will have a little question mark Ooh, dead bodies everywhere well I'll tell you that means you don't need you don't need your green. You don't need your gold. You don't need your gold. Oh! He, my homeboy here. He killed, he killed everyone. A real madman. I'm injured. Help me. I'm injured. Help Ooh. me. We could heal him. Or we could finish him. These are the people that killed a poor little girl. And their poor dad is very upset. Uh, plus it paid to kill, apparently. Apparently, killing pays. Nothing else in here that we can interact with. So, just double check in that. There's usually only one thing, like a hemp or whatever. Um, so, so, homeboy's over here. We could fight, but he's going to be a tough fight. He's bright red. That, I think, is the I'm not an easy fight red. Um, okay, what is that? That's the farm. Well, we're going to head back towards town, but on the way, we're going to kind of go a different route just to pick up some other things. Do you want to check out? Yeah, let's see what this is. There's something. Uh, venison. Take your venison. Bring out your dead. I don't know why I thought of that. Bring out your dead. I'm gonna pick up the wood. There's a sheepfold. Little Bert's sheepfold. Ooh, purple. My parents were sheep farmers back in Edo. When I brought them to this abandoned sheepfold, they're tired. Fit. Unfortunately, we've just learned that this building belongs to a man called Wilbert. I would like to meet him, and can, but I would feel safer if mercenaries such as you could escort. All right, she wants escort. Children do not look kindly upon us refugees. Oh, to see Wilbur. Thank you. 
I will meet you there. Yeah, well, you can come along. We'll come and join you. We could steal stuff, but we're not here to steal from these guys. We're not here to. My daughter is very proud to have secured this oh. sheepfold. But All right. So if we can get ten wood to give to these people, we'll get a recipe oh, for mutton stew. And do you have hemp? Are you growing the gunge? Yeah, there's stuff we could steal if that was our thing, but we are not, so we're gonna just go. Alrighty, let's see. Whew. Are we ready for this? I don't know if we're ready. But... We were gonna go back to town. Poor girl just wants us to escort her. Just wants us to go talk to old Wilbert. Wilbert? Why refuse? We are sheep. Absolutely not. I inherited this barn from my sister. I will not let anyone take it from me. But you are not even using it. You are a fisherman. What use yeah, you would you have? You don't for do sheep, sheep, you do fish. That is none of your business. I will do as I please with my property. And I will Alrighty. Well, let's talk to him. What's it to you if I use that sheepfold or not? That has nothing to do with it. That pile of rubble is mine. That woman has no right to stay there and is making a fuss. I'll pay you handsomely if you make her leave. Alright. This is, uh... Oh, I'd get a fly. So that's for fishing. I hate fishing. Fishing sucks. We're just gonna pay you. We got some money. Huh. But if you want to buy the sheep 50 gold, gold buddy. Because we're nice. Has he accepted? Oh. Blessed to be the all-seeing. And we got a medallion. I, what this I have to go. I must tell my parents the. And the fate of this area is being solved. I hate fishing. I'm not gonna bother with it. It's all stuff we could steal. Oh, we got leather. I'm very tempted, but I'm uh, a thief. I don't know. We're not gonna bother with that. We are. Currently playing War Tales. We are rocking the War Tales. We're gonna head back up to Storm Comp. There are uh, refute or criminals over here. We could go try to capture them. Pick up a silk glove that does nothing for us. There's wood. Pick that up. to meet you in the haven all right so they want to talk to us at the haven which is the other direction for now we're gonna go back to strom camp we're gonna turn in the quest and i think that will be about the end of today's stream it's a good spot to stop run back to town i'm gonna go into here we're gonna say what's up Might i did stuff our role as emissaries is to ensure and give me your reward. the money and give us some more. So vanquish this guy's squad. Yeah, we'll work on that. No problem. Uh, face. Let's see. Unaware of the danger to face, a handful of adorings have gone hunting in Sikha Forest. Someone must warn them uh, before they get eaten. Yeah, we'll head out and warn them. Uh, Pedra Mountain Mine no longer safe since the deserters have taken up residence there. It is high time we kick them out. I can't accept another one because you can only have a certain number. Sucks. We'll come back. We'll kick them out later. There's people we could hire, but I think we're good. We don't want to get too crazy. Let's talk to our hey, friendly so innkeeper. Uh, we well, could buy some wine. Three for each one. One of these is 14. The six for four. Four. There's four. Yeah, so that's not a bad price. We'll take that. Culture shock. But it takes mutton stew, apple pancake, and brandy. That means we gotta know a lot of stuff Feel before we're come back often. Well, always... Before we're there. We're not there. We're nowhere near there. We're gonna go to the forge. 
I will forget this if I don't do this now, which is really kind of why I'm doing it now. Let's see, that's 100 gold at the bottom. If you think I need them. So we're just gonna load up. And we're gonna start selling off stuff. Uh, these have no possible use, so we're gonna sell that. That has a use, we'll keep it. Um, gives plus one willpower. What that does, I'm not sure. But it does something, so we're gonna hold on to it. We have one shackle, we may want to get another one eventually. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's where we're at. You know, let's buy some coal. Because there's gotta be something we can do with that. He will repair your gear, so if your gear's jacked up and you go somewhere like here, uh, they can repair them for you. It does um, take money, but it's not so bad. That is not so bad. We could build the padded jacket. We need more leather, which we need anyways. We could build padded brigantine again. We'll need iron and leather and uh, plate, reinforced plate armor. We'll need iron. Uh, the other thing to look at is some of these have a level requirement, which these will meet because that's pretty low. But in the future, that is something to think about. Uh, apothecary, maybe? We did get some snow iris, so maybe our apothecary can make medicine. He can make one. Why? Because we only had one empty vial. Yep. So, but we could make two more, which I think is uh, is the buy thing to do is to buy some empty vials. We'll buy injury. two of those. Be sure to hold Man, on to the vials. So after expensive. Using them. So expensive. All right, we're gonna leave. We're gonna go talk to you. We are going to make two more medicines. This is all stuff I'll forget next time I come back and try to do a stream. Um, so, but that's cool. We got all that part done. We're going to leave there. Only thing I want to do, let's check this out. So, how encumbered are we? We're at half encumbrance. We're good for now. We can learn how to make hemp tea. Oh, that's cool. It provides six food and happiness increased uh, and all it takes is two hemp and um, milk. Okay. Possibilities. Uh, syrup just needs two of, I think, the wood sap. I don't know. I don't know. That's okay. Um, oh, man. What do we need? We need better weapons. We need all sorts of things. We are nowhere near being happy with our position in life. But we are, in fact, get rid of the ones we don't know, uh, doing okay on a lot of these things. Man, my work just called. Um, we got a campfire. I think this makes it better. Bonus generates an extra one during each trust if at least one companion is assigned. Well, that's cool. It's a better campfire, uh, which we have all the stuff to make it. I guess that could be worth it. Oh, we're pretty happy, though. We're not that unhappy, buddy. Um, cooking pot. We're going to save it because we'll find some of these out there, like wolf and, and pork are pretty common uh, things, and we will probably want some of that. So we're going to save. We're going to close out for today. Uh, and yeah, so this was uh, War Tales. Uh, this was... Um, Free currently on the X on the uh, Xbox Live whatever Microsoft thing you can get subscription 
thing. Um, but it's also on Steam, so it's like $35 on Steam. It's a cool little like resource management, fight, turn-based combat thing, which sad to say that is kind of where I'm at these days. The, the first-person shooters and all that stuff I'm not as uh, skilled with anymore. Um, I used to be good when I played all the time. I just don't have the time for that. So these are cool because you can jump in, play a little bit, have a good little time, and then, uh, you know, leave. Be good. Walk away. Come back later when you have an hour, two hours, whatever. Um, but, yeah, thanks to anyone joining us. I will be doing probably more of these from time to time. I realize I didn't change the category. Uh, nor the description. So I'll have to do that later. But uh, thanks for joining us. Here we are. Uh, have a great one, guys, and uh, we'll see. I will be working on improving these, so if you uh, catch this later on YouTube or whatever, leave me a comment. I'm happy to understand what I can do to make this uh, different, change it up. If you're here, I'd be happy to you know, chat a little bit. Um, some of these games are fun for world-building aspects, too, to kind of get some different thoughts and views on their world-building. But uh, anyways, with that, we're going to end. Uh, have a great day, guys, and hope you're all leveling up.